This course is a research seminar for industrial design students. And we take on a shared topic, explore its different dimensions, and select one to pursue. This, this semester is the 17 SDGs with a complicated web of interconnected issues, which meant that we are looking at the SDGs through the very the partial role on the left um, and wondering why these discursive artifacts have, have, don't have much to say for themselves in terms of success. Well, very briefly, negotiated between unequal actors, application left to individual states, and then science denial, and then Herbert Walker Bush saying American exceptionalism um, at the eve of the um, Rio, Rio summit. This simply says the change in the language used going from whose needs, present and future generations, to this strange new quality of life in our GT sustainability plan. The focus is on materials and labor in a long arc. And <clears throat> the quote from Red Pepper says it all. It's about the political, economic, and social structures perpetuating injustice. And on the other side, the same logic that justifies um, resource application, uh, exploitation and people uh, exploitation, taking you back to the start of capitalism. This is the biggest, richest city in the world, the silver mine in Potosi, Bolivia, where the uh, Spanish artist says, if 20 healthy Indians enter on a Monday, half may emerge crippled on a Saturday. That's the DRC that uh, Sundaresan showed. That's Elon Musk saying, um, we can coup anyone when he was uh, worried about the Tesla. Uh, one of the historians who's really put this together very well is Mike Davis. He talks about the inequality of nations and inequality of uh, classes produced at the moment of um, climate act change, um, global capitalism, and imperial land possession. We start, I start my every course in the spring with Martin Luther King. It allows me to bring lots of issues in the class that would otherwise get me reported. Um, we started with the beyond, uh, beyond, the, uh, beyond, beyond Vietnam, the silence, where he raises the giant triplets of materialism and so on. We continued this year because Pope, the Catholic Church has been there. This incredible encyclical, Laudato Si, has all the issues that the SDGs talk about. What we wanted was a different rhetoric, a different language to talk about the same things. We carry on with Adrian Buller's book, The Value of a Whale, um, look at green capitalism, and then we end, this is the last of the shared things, we end with taking it out of the metropole, if you will, to uh, looking at post-development from, from the other parts of the globe. We have some speakers who, who live their work. This is... Uh, Casey Chang, who lives in Nairobi, she's a, uh, someone from the US who's been living on East, in East Africa and reporting on things like um, ev eviction of indigenous populations for development or this brand new uh, road outside Mumbai. The next 10 slides are what each of the students have identified as their place for research. It's uh, here, Elizabeth Marmo is looking at beyond consumption, the convenience that drives all that consumption. And that's her, her question that she is researching. This one, um, Sarah's project is about industrial design and the way they um, work with color material and finish in ways that then make the material not recyclable. Um, as you can see in, in, in her graph there. Um, another student, a master's student in architecture, is looking at why environmental policy in the U.S. falls short. And it's been a classic civics lesson for her between the, between the legislation and the executive and the Supreme Court. And we're living the moment when, when the Clean Water Act and everything else since is going to be demolished in the labyrinth of the US government. We're also looking very, um, Madeline's looking very closely at capitalism, green capitalism. How do they account? What happens when offsets burn in a forest fire, which they do all the time? So this is a close look on um, 
on green capitalism compared to capitalism. This one uh, is a graduate student from India. She's looking at just the oxymoron between environmental justice in unjust social orders. Her fo particular focus is on, let's say, heat and on roofs and how they're used. So on the left, you get green roofs, you know, very, very successful in terms of all the other metrics, and the other side, the typical Indian roof. This one is looking at the notion of development. 900-pound oh, gorilla whenever we're talking uh, about um, sustainability. Development is messy with its environmental and its social costs. He's looking at mining and Heidel power projects in India. Um, Taylor's looking at media and its distortion of climate change. So we start with these very high level things and each student is getting to something very focused. She's originally from Philippines, so she's looking at what's happened in the Philippines from 1898 on. The various regimes and the various ways in which media has distorted uh, development there. Lily um, took inspiration from the Laudata Sea and said, well, you know, the UN, for all sorts of reasons, can't seems to implement, but there's this other major global structure called the Catholic Church. What if we taking, took that on and said, how could that work? Um, Giacomo is looking at the on labor and exploitation and top-down metrics and saying, well, if the labor is alienated from the products of his labor, it also shows up environmentally, the destruction of the environments that they live in. And this last slide here is looking very closely at the growth paradox um, on how, and by the way, this was happening as Gaza was unfolding. And this has happened before and continues to happen, and then we just basically don't, we turn a blind eye to economic expansion and power projection. And I just want to give a shout out to the last image because he's not a graphics person, and that image was produced by Dal E. Um, <laughs> <laughs>